Hello students, how are you? Hello Marta, Milena, Ruby, Denise, how are you? Hello teacher, I am fine, and you? Hello teacher. Fine. Hello. Okay students, um, for today we have the, the simple future, future things. Uh, today we are going to see uh, each structure in which case we use them, how it's formed, and uh, of course we are going to practice these things. Uh, okay, this is a, a topic for this class. Please. Okay, teacher. Okay. We are beginning. Please confirm if uh, you can see my screen. No teacher. No teacher. Already? No? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. What do you what do you see the what do you see my uh, slide in the PowerPoint? The title is sample future tense. Okay is the the powerpoint presentation you can see okay 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 we are at the beginning so, i am uh, now uh, why do you know or remember about the simple future tense? Why do you know or remember about that topic? The the future tense. I use the word the word will uh, and the verb on the verb in an infinitive. Infinity. Mm -hmm. For example, I will, I will walk uh, this afternoon. For example. Okay. Yes. What the other uh, auxiliary verb we have to find the the future beside the will? The verb. Uh, but no future tense. Uh, what what other auxiliary verb? Will is one auxiliary verb. What other? For example, going, uh, going, going. going to. Going. Uh, to. Okay, going. Uh, with verb to be, no? Be going to. Uh, mm -hmm. Is other auxiliary verb. Okay. Um. What do we use the simple future tense for? Para qué usamos el futuro simple? Why do we use the simple future tense for? For uh, to talk about to project project. Okay, to project or, or promise or in, in that case it probability in the in the in the future tomorrow yes. the follow the follow week okay yes. next week next week okay thank you 
for example, uh, Denise, talk about a situation where you use the simple future tense. Talk about a situation where you use the simple future tense. Or, or who want to participate? Marta, Milena, or Ruby? Who want to participate uh, talking about a situation where you use the simple future? I'm going to travel tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Voy a viajar mañana. Okay, I am going to travel tomorrow. Oh, yes. Uh, Milena, no? Thank you. Marta, Ruby, talking about a situation where you use the simple future. I will rest this weekend. Okay, descansar esta semana. Okay. I'm going to work. My dog tonight. Okay. Iré al doctor esta noche. Work, work my dog. Mm, ya. Yeah. Okay. Caminaré con mi perro. <laughs> yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Continue. Okay. Uh, this verb, this verb tense is conjugated with the auxiliary verbs. Uh, that's uh, Marta and, and Denise. Will and going to. This is auxiliary verbs that we use to form the, the future. Okay. Remember that through the simple future tense, you can express events or situations which may or may not occur in the future. Okay, we use the, the simple future uh, to express events or situations which may or may not, que pueden o no pueden ocurrir. Okay? Okay, teacher. The difference between going to and will is the sense of planning and probability of an action happening. In general, going to is used for concrete plans. When we are sure that something is going to happen. Okay, this is the difference. Going to and will in the sense of planning and probability. Going to, we use for concrete plans, para planes en concreto. Ok, cuando estamos seguros de que eso va a suceder. When we are sure that something is going to happen. Ok. Will, we use will with uh, voluntary actions. Okay, will is used with voluntary actions. For example, will you help me move? Will you help me move? ¿Me ayudarás a mudarme? They will clean their rooms. They will clean their rooms. She won't work with Paul. She won't work with Paul. Okay. They will clean their rooms. Ellos limpiarán sus cuartos. She won't work with Paul. Want is contraction. The will with not. Okay. 
we have the negative sentence is the first. Will you help me move? ¿Me ayudarás a mudarme? This is affirmative sentence. They will clean their rooms. Ellos limpiarán sus cuartos. And this is negative sentence. She wants to work with Paul. Ella no trabajará con Paul. Ok, affirmative, ne sorry, negative, affirmative and inter interrogative, affirmative and negative. Ok, entonces, it's clear that will is used with voluntary actions. Also, we use will to express a promise. Ok, we use will also to express a promise. For example, when I am president, I will lower tax. When I am president, I will lower tax. What to say in that uh, in that sentence, Milena? In, in when I am president, I will lower tax. Oh, Marta, the traduction of that sentence, when I am president, I will lower tax. Cuando yo, cuando yo sea presidente, bajaré los impuestos. Okay, yes, correct, thank you. In the other sentence, he promised he will call when he arrives. He promised he will call when he arrives. Denise, what do you say in that sentence? Él prometió que llamaría cuando él llegue. Ajá, que llamará. It's not conditional. Llamará. Okay, thank you very much. I continue. In that case, we is the use of will. Will to express a promise and will uh, is used with voluntary actions okay now we are with going to be going to going to is used for plans the intention to do something is indicated okay going to is used for plans for example we are going to have a party tonight it is a plan for the night we are going to have a party tonight. Ruby, please. What say in that sentence? Iremos a la fiesta esta noche. Okay. We are going to have a party tonight. Vamos a tener una fiesta esta noche. Uh, yes, I mean, also is correct also. The, the follow sentence, Richard is going to take a English, an English class. Richard is going to take an English class. Richard Please, Milena. Okay. Uh, yes. In that case, we say Richard tendrá una clase de inglés. Uh, in the interrogative, Milena, please, are they going to play football later? Are they going to play football later? Eh, van a jugar fútbol más tarde. Okay, yes. Van a jugar fútbol más tarde. Okay. And uh, we have the going to is used for plans. The intention to do something, con la intención de hacer algo. And finally, we use going to, uh, uh, you can use will or going to, to make predictions. Both, we use both, will or going to, to make predictions. When there is a evidence that something is going to happen, we use going to. Ok, usamos ambos para hacer predicciones, usamos will and going to to make predictions. Pero cuando hay evidencia de que algo en realidad va a suceder, usamos 
going to. Okay? For example, it will be a great party. It is going to be a great party. Será una gran fiesta. Va a ser una gran fiesta. We use both. Will and going to. It won't rain. It is not going to rain. No lloverá o no va a llover. Ok. Is a negative sentence. It won't rain or it is not going to rain. This is the use for to will and going to and the case we use the both will and going to. Then we are going to talk about the structure to form the, the sentence. This sentence uh, with will in affirmative. The structure is subject auxiliary verb, in that case will, and main verb, the principal verb. For example, I will, I subject will, call principal verb and complement. I will call you tonight or I'll call you tonight in contraction. I will call you tonight with the third person. She will arrive later. She will arrive later. Or she'll arrive late. They will be happy to see you. Or they'll be happy to see you. Okay, this is a structure to form the affirmative sentence. So get will, main verb, and complement. To form the negative sentence with auxiliary verb will, subject, will, not, main verb, and complement. For example, I will not, or in contraction, I won't call you tonight. Okay, will not or won't contraction that will and not. I will not call you tonight. She will not arrive late. They will not be happy to see you. Okay, repeat. I will not call you tonight. Yo no te llamaré esta noche. She will not arrive late. Ella no llegará tarde. They will not be happy to see you. Ellos no estarán feliz de verte. Felices de verte. Okay, this is a structure to form negative sentence with the auxiliary verb will. And this interrogative sentence with the auxiliary verb will. First, will, then subject, then main verb, complement, and finally mark question. Okay, for example, will you call me tonight? Will you call me tonight? Me llamarás esta noche? Will you call me tonight? Will she arrive late? Llegará ella tarde? Will she arrive late? Will they be happy to see you? Will they be happy to see you? ¿Estarán ellos felices de verte? Now, we are going to talk about the structure to form this sentence in affirmative and negative and interrogative with the auxiliary verb going to. Okay, one moment. Linda, okay. Um, in the affirmative sentence with the going to. 
subject and auxiliary verb is to be and going to and main verb. For example, in that case, we use generally verb to be before the going to, okay? Verb to be before going to, verb to be before going to, and verb to be before going to. Okay, you can see. Vemos el verbo to be antes del, del verbo auxiliar going to en todas las oraciones. Subject, I, auxiliary verb to be am, going to, going to, call, main verb, and complement. This is the structure to form the affirmative sentence. I am going to call you tonight. Yo voy a llamarte esta noche. Voy a llamarte esta noche. I am going to call you tonight. She is going to arrive late. She is going to arrive late. Ella va a llegar tarde. They are going to be happy to see you. They are going to be happy to see you. Ellos van a estar felices de verte. The negative sentence with the structure is subject, auxiliary verb, to be, not, going to, and main verb. For example, I am not going to call you tonight. I am not going to call you tonight. Eh, no voy a llamarte esta noche. She is not going to arrive late. She is not going to arrive late. Ella no va a llegar tarde. They are not going to be happy to see you. Ellos no estarán felices de verte. And finally, with the interrogative sentence, we use the auxiliary verbs. First, the auxiliary verbs are, is, or am. Subject, the name person or the pronouns, you, she, they, he, I, we. Uh, going to a uh, main verb and the complement and finally the mark question. For example, are you going to call me tonight? Are you going to call me tonight? Tú me llamarás esta noche o tú vas a llamarme esta noche? Is she going to arrive late? Va a llegar ¿Va a ella a llegar tarde? Are they going to be happy to see you? Are they going be, to be happy to see you? ¿Van a estar ellos felices de verte? Ok. This is the structure to form the sentence. Let's remember, okay, the use for will. Will we use to voluntary actions and also we use to express a promise. We use going to for plans when, the, uh, when we are the intention to do the something and we use both will and going to to make predictions. Okay, the structure to will affirmative sentence is subject, will, and main verb. The negative is subject, will, not, and main verb. And then interrogative sentence with auxiliary verb, will, we use. The structure is will, subject, main verb, complement, and mark questions. And to form the, the structure with the going to, in affirmative, we use subject, auxiliary verb, to be, general, going to, and main verb. For the negative, we use subject, auxiliary verb, to be, 
not going to a main verb. For the interrogative sentence, we use auxiliary verb to be. Subject, so going to main verb, complement and mark questions. Okay, students, for this class, uh, we are, we have a little vocabulary, okay? For to read, uh, for to do a reading, for to practice the, oh, sorry, for to practice the, the simple future, okay? The vocabulary is mayor, alcalde, improve, mejorar, current, actual, citizens, ciudadano, hire, contratar, traffic jam, atasco de autos o embotellamiento, town planning, planificación urbanística, invest, invertir, budget, presupuesto, short term, el corto plazo, entertainment, entretenimiento, hold, llevar a cabo, un evento, y tax, impuesto. Ok. I am going to repeat. Mayor, improve, current, citizens, hire, traffic jam, town planning, invest, budget, short term, entertainment, hold, and tax. Okay, we have this reading. where we use the auxiliary verb will. This reading is in future. Okay. Who uh, one is in the class? Uh, Ruby, Milena, Martin. Okay. Ruby, please. Read uh, the, the text, the interview. A Ruby is reporter and uh, and Milena is candidate. Okay. Okay, Mr. White, what will you do if you become the mayor of the city? Milena. Hello, Milena. Can you? Can you hear? Can you listen? Okay. Yeah. Well, well, I will do every time in the power to improve the current condition of the city. Please follow uh, Ruby. I want to ask you about some specific topics. The first one is education. Education has been a, a ma major problem in the city, so I will go uh, to Centro Mower School. I will create a task in order to support free education uh, for uh, the citizen. Never, never had, never did. I won't hear new teacher because um we we had more time enough. Okay, uh, you have a little mistakes in the pronunciation, especially uh, we say, um, I will build um, uh, 200 modern schools, 200. I will create a tax in order to support free education for all the citizens. In that case, we say ne uh, nevertheless, the pronunciation, nevertheless, I won't hire new teachers because we have more than enough. Okay. I'll continue, this is the other slide. Please continue. Now, I want to tell, tell me what you will do about the 
heavy traffic and the traffic jams in the city. Is historically uh, the town planning planning of have not been able to manage uh, this use using as a result I will invest a large part of the budget of, of the city in this office. The objective is to reduce the heavy traffic and the traffic harm, not only in the short term, but also in the long term. The last two topics are entertainment and culture. This, this topic might, might um, have impact on the quality of life and the citizen regarding intern, entertainment. I will organize sport tournament for both children and adults. We respect to culture. The, the city will hold a cultural event every, every day. Thank you, Mr. White. Okay, thank you, student. Uh, you have a mistake in uh, with your pronunciation. Okay, we are going to repeat the text. Um, please, uh, Marta and Denise, and please pay attention because uh, we are going to answer a question about the text, okay? And uh, follow, we are going to uh, translate. So in that case, Marta and Denise, please read in English, read in English, okay? Lee is, is slow with the correct pronunciation. And we are going, I am going to do the traduction, okay? Please, uh, Marta is reporter and Denise is candidate. Okay, slow and uh, with the correct pronunciation. Okay, Claude, begin. Okay, teacher. Mr. White, what will you do if you become the mayor of the city? Well. I will do everything in my power to improve the current conditions of the city. I want to ask you about some specific topics. The first one is education. Education has been a major problem in the city, so I will buy oil. 200 oh. modern schools. I will pray that in order to support free education for all the citizens. Nevertheless, I won't hire new teachers because we have more than enough. Translation, uh, teacher, or I continue? Okay, this is the other slide. Okay, thank you. Now I want to tell me what you will do about the heavy traffic and the traffic jam in the city. Sorry, Cali, the town planning office has not been able to manage this issue. As a result, I will invest a large part of the budget of the city in this office. The, object, the, the objective is to reduce the heavy traffic and the traffic jams, not only in the short term, but also in the long term. The last two topics are internet. Ay, qué difícil pronunciar esta palabra. The last two topics are enter. Ay, <laughs> teacher. Entertainment. And entertainment and culture. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Thank the you. 
topics make a huge impact on the quality of life of the citizens regarding entertainment. I will organize sports tournament for both children and adults with respect to culture. The city will hold a cultural event every day. Thank you, Mr. White. Now. Okay, no, no more. Okay. Please, uh, Ruby, help me with the traduction. Señor White, ¿qué hará usted si viene el alcalde, el teacher que es mayor? Yo si es alcalde, eh, okay. but big, uh -huh, Bitcoin is, is other means, tiene otro significado. ¿Qué hará usted volver. si usted es volverse, llegar a ser o convertirse? Ah. Si usted ¿Qué hará usted la... si se vuelve? Eso, el alcalde de esta ciudad. Uh, what is the central idea is the, the, the interview? Is interview between the reporter uh, who is a candidate to the to the mayor of the city. Okay, entre un reportero y un candidato a la alcaldía de una ciudad. Okay, this is the interview. Mr. White, what will you do? If you become the mayor of this city, señor White, ¿qué haría usted? ¿Qué hará usted si se convierte en el alcalde de esta ciudad? Please, Marta, follow, help me with the candidate. Well, I will do everything in my power to improve the current condition of this city. Please translate, Marta. Um, current, current. Bueno, se me olvidó current. Eh, bueno, yo haría cada cosa. Eh, eh, no, haría no, because no. Eh, yo haré, yo haré. Eh, excuse, yes. excuse me. Okay. Yo haré cada cosa en mi poder para, para mejorar. Current. Eh, Current is, is eh, las condiciones de la ciudad. Eh. Mm -hmm. Is uh, he's saying similar to actual? actual. Uh, yeah, actual. actual. Listo. Eh, yo haré cada cosa en mi poder para mejorar haré todo las lo condiciones que poder, actuales. Todo lo, que ah, okay. todo lo que esté en mi poder para mejorar las condiciones actuales de la ciudad. Okay. Thank you. Eh, Ruby, please. Tell me the acerca de unos temas en específicos. El primero es la educación. Ok, Marta. Education has been a major problem in this city. So I will build 200 mothers, modern school. Bueno, la educación ha sido uno de mis mayores problemas en la ciudad. Eh, entonces yo construiré 200, 200 escuelas modernas. Eh, yo crearé en eh, una un impuesto eh, orden, in order to eh, con el fin de Ajá. Support, eh, support de ayudar o de de ayudar so, ajá, de apoyar o de soportar la eso, de apoyar la educación forma gratuita gratuita for gratuita. all the citizens eh, hay citizen para los ciudadanos para todos para los, todos ciudadanos. los ciudadanos nevertheless I won't hire new teacher because we have more than enough nevertheless what means nevertheless Nevertheless, eh, es, hay, sin embargo, ah, sí, un conector de. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, mm. sin embargo, uh, in the future we are going to talk about the conector. The, 
Prometo. Nevertheless, uh -huh, I won't hire a new teacher because we have more than enough. Um, sin embargo, yo no contrataré nuevos profesores porque tenemos muy, más, más, ay, ¿qué es lo que se no? Más que enough, suficiente. Ah, tenemos más que suficiente. Porque okay. tenemos más que suficiente. Hay conectores que hay que aprender mucho. Bueno, tenemos más que suficiente adverbios también. Ok. okay eh, please, este, Adi, Ruby, en Marta. En that case, Milena and Denise. ¿Sí? Milena and Denise. Please help me with the traduction. Eh, Milena, now I want to tell me what do you will do about the heavy traffic and the traffic jams in this city. Okay. Eh, ahora, ahora quiero. To tell ahora, me. Uh -huh. Ahora quiero decir, decirle. Ahora quiero decirle eh, qué hará con el, con el tráfico, eh, con el tráfico y los atascones en la ciudad. Now I want to tell me, ahora quiero que me diga what do, what you will do, lo que va a hacer o lo que hará about the heavy traffic and the traffic jams in the city. Heavy es pesado, con el tráfico pesado y los atascos de tráfico en la ciudad. Ok. Please, uh, Denise, follow. Historically, the town planning office has not been able to manage this issue. As a result, I will invest a large part of the budget of the city in this office. The objective is to reduce the heavy traffic and the traffic jams not only in the short term, but also in the long term. Denise? Históricamente, los planos de la ciudad, los planos oficiales de la ciudad no case, han sido... Eh, sorry, this is the town planning office, la oficina de planeación de la ciudad. Históricamente, okay. la oficina de planeación de la ciudad no ha podido manejar... This What? issue or this problem. Is the problem? Hmm? Uh, As a uh -huh. I will invest a large part of the budget. I will invest. Invest, invertir. Invertiré. Hay vocabulario que no. Sí, es, I want to 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 reading a a little more uh, no 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 easy in that case no tan fácil en este caso okay mm -hmm. uh, as a result I will invest invertir a large part of the budget una gran parte del presupuesto of the city in this office, de la ciudad en esta oficina. Ok, continue. The objective. El objetivo uh -huh. es reducir el, el tráfico, pesado. tráfico pesado y los atascos. Uh -huh. No solamente en short term, short term en corto plazo. Corto plazo. Sino también, Pero, ajá, también en el largo plazo. Ok. Liz, eh, Milena. Eh, los dos últimos temas son entretenimiento y cultura. Uh 
Ma? Uh, no, with the other, uh, <laughs> Denise, with the candidate, please. Candidate? Ajá. Uh -huh. Estos dos temas. Mm. Huge. What mean? Huge es eh, como enorme, grande. These two topics, these two topics make a huge impact of the quality of life of the citizen. Estos dos temas tienen Crearán. Tienen un impacto. Un gran impacto. La un... calidad de vida de los ciudadanos. Ok. Regarding entertainment. Regarding. Uh, en cuanto regard. al entretenimiento. Uh -huh, pues en cuanto a o respecto a. En cuanto al entretenimiento. I will organize sport tournament for both children and adults. Organizaré torneos de deportes para chicos mm -hmm. y adultos. Yes, of course. Uh -huh. Respecto a la cultura, la ciudad home. hold es celebrar. Will hold celebrará celebrará un evento cultural ¿Todos los días o cada día? Cada día. Ok. Hice a little difficult that text, ¿no? Ok, thank you, Mr. White. Gracias, señor White. Ok. Ok. The, this text is interview between uh, interview to candidate of uh, mayor of the city. Ok. With the reading, we are answer a little question about the, the text. For example, we can infer that Mr. White to make this city a better piece of life, very piece of life. We can say, we can infer, podemos inferir o deducir que el señor White wants, quiere, about the text, say, Mr. White, a better improve the conditions in this city. Okay. We can infer that Mr. White wants to make this city a better place to life. Quiere hacer de la ciudad un mejor lugar para vivir. So, better place. We can infer that Mr. White wants to make this city a better place to life. Que el señor White quiere hacer de la ciudad un mejor sitio para vivir. The second question. According to Mr. White, education has been major problem. Major problem. Okay. Major problem in this year. Mr. White, more teachers. Why not hire? Why not hire? Will not hire? No hire. No contratará. Mr. White, a lot of money on the projects of the town planning office. Mr. White, a lot of money. We will invest. Invest. Uh-huh. We'll invest. 
muy bien, ¿ves? Invertirá, ¿cierto? Mucho dinero en proyectos de la oficina de planeación. Mr. White will invest a lot of money on the project of the town planning office. And finally, according to Mr. White, adults, the opportunity to participate in sport competitions, won't have or will have. ¿Tendrán o no tendrán la oportunidad de participar en, en, en eventos will deportivos? Have. Will have. Will have. The child and adults will have the opportunity to participate in sports competitions. And finally, we are going to choose a, which is the correct. Okay? What is not true? What is the false? Mr. White will create a new tax? Yes. Is is true? Is true. It's certainly it's true. Okay, it's true. What is not true? Mr. White won't organize any cultural event? Yes. False. This is false. Okay. Why they won't hire new teachers? True. Yes, true. Okay. Mr. White will try to reduce the traffic jams. True. It's true. Mr. White will try to reduce the traffic jams and the heavy traffic. Tratará de reducir el tráfico pesado y los embotellamientos. Okay. The, uh, the sentence that is not true is the second. Mr. White won't organize any cultural event. El señor White no organizará ningún evento cultural. It's false because Mr. White said in the interview that every day uh, will we'll do a cultural event with the adults and, and child and we can participate. They can participate. Okay, this is a text or this is a, a reading interview with the auxiliary verb will. Okay, future with the auxiliary verb with will. In that case, this is a reading with a going to. Okay, it's a, a little short. A, oh, it's in Spanish. <laughs> a reading with going to. Honeymoon in Brazil. Honeymoon in Brazil. Please, who want to participate with the reading? Um, please, um, Milena, please help me with the reading that text. Going to going to get married. Sorry, it's Susie. Susie is going. Susie is name of person. Susie is going. Uh huh. Continue. Okay. She she going to have the ceremony in in the church in in her mother town. After the wedding, she she and her husband are going to have dinner with. We are their friend and family, and and the next day, uh, they they are going to to up on on their hot honeymoon. Uh, they they are going to Brazil. They they are going to spend five day uh, in real Rio de Janeiro and four day in Sao Paulo. Uh, they 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 never been to Brazil before, so they they are looking forward to to the tree. After they get home, they are going to start looking for for house to buy. Susie Susie had had a lot of plans for Mary live to she want kids. 
uh, they they are going to have uh, two kids and she going to send them to the best private school. They they are going to to be very happy to get there together. Okay, please, uh, Denise, repeat with the with the reading. Okay. <laughs> Honeymoon in Brazil. Susie's going to get married next summer. She's going to have the ceremony in the church in her mother's town. After the wedding, she and her husband are going to have dinner with all their friends and family. And the next day, they are going to live on their honeymoon. They are going to Brazil. They're going to spend five days in Rio de Janeiro and four days in Sao Paulo. They've never been to Brazil before, so they are looking forward to the trip. After they get home, they are going to start looking for a house to buy. Susie has a lot of plans for married life, too. She wants kids. They are going to have two kids and she's going to send them to the best private schools. They are going to be very happy together. Okay, thank you, Denise. Uh, please, Ruby and Marta, uh, help me with the traduction. Um, Marta, the first paragraph, and uh, Ruby, the, the other paragraph, okay? Please, Marta, okay, honeymoon in Brazil. Uh, okay. Luna de miel en Brasil. Susi se va a casar el próximo verano. Okay. Ella tendrá una ella va a tener una ceremonia en la iglesia eh, de su en el del pueblo de su madre. Okay. Eh, después eh, después de la boda ¿Eh? después de la boda ella y su esposo Eh, van a tener una cena con todos sus amigos y la familia. Eh, y más tarde, eh, no, al día siguiente, uh -huh. ella, ellos, ellos van a salir a, a su luna de miel. O van a ir a su luna, o van a salir, o van a ir a su luna de miel. Eh, ellos van a ir a Brasil. Eh, ellos estarán cinco días en Río de Janeiro y cuatro días en Sao Paulo. Thank you. Eh, Ruby. Ellos nunca habían estado en Brasil antes. Nunca habían estado en Brasil. Por lo que esperan con ansia el viaje ajá uh -huh. uh -huh. después de que lleguen a casa ellos van a empezar a mirar una casa para comprar uh -huh. Entonces, looking for and buscar ok ajá uh -huh. follow buscar una casa para comprar Susi tiene muchos planes para su vida de casada también ella quiere niños ellos y van a tener van a tener dos niños y ella quiere enviarlos a una a la mejor escuela privada ellos serán felices juntos ok they are going to be very happy together ellos van a ser muy felices juntos o serán muy felices juntos ok the central idea of the text is a honeymoon in a couple that to go to Brazil, okay, in a, your married life. Please, uh, we are going to answer the following questions. When, when is Susie wedding going to be? When, the next summer.
Yes, of course. The other question, where are you going on your honeymoon? In her mother's town. Where are you going on your honeymoon? In Brazil, Brazil. In Brazil, okay. Donde eh, será o tendrán su luna de miel? Where are, donde estarán en su luna de miel? How many days are they going to stay in Brazil? How many days are they going to stay in Brazil? Five days. Four days. Four days? Four days? Teacher. I think the other days. For example, five days in Rio de Janeiro and four days in Sao Paulo. In total nine, is? Nine days. Nine days. How many days in total they are going to stay in Brazil? Nine days. Five in Rio de Janeiro and four in Sao Paulo. How many children are they going to have? Two children. Two children. Teacher. Two children. Okay. Uh -huh. mm, tengo una duda. Um, en la segunda uh, pregunta ah, yes. es, mm. where are you going? No se refiere a ellos. Yes, they in the place of the you. Okay, it's not you. It's the is bad construction of the sentence. Okay. I have problems with the why. Okay. And you are all reason. Is they okay? The structure is bad. La estructura estaba mal, el, el, the pronouns is not correct. Okay. In that case, is they. they. Sorry. Sorry. In that, in that uh, question. Where are they going on their honeymoon? Okay. I, I just. Is okay, sorry. Okay, students, uh, we are continuing. Yes. Uh, how much yes. Okay. Um, we are going to complete the following sentence with the auxiliary verb will. Uh, Marta, please. Uh, with the first sentence, my sister hasn't studied enough. She, this is not in past. What is the correct structure in that case? She, she will not, she pass. will, will not, not, won't not pass. She uh, will not or won't pass her exam. In Spanish, say. Ella no pasará. Uh -huh. Marta no ha estudiado suficiente. Ella no pasará su exam. exam. Okay, my sister hasn't studied enough. She will not pass her exam. Okay, Marta, thank you very much. Denise, she to her sister wedding. We use go. The structure, the correct structure is. She, she will go to her sister. She will go. So yet, actually, Eliar will go is the main verb and the complement. Okay, she will go to her sister wedding. Who is the traduction? Ella irá a la boda de su hermana. Okay. Er, Denise, thank you. Er, Ruby, please. They. To another country, if they will. don't find a job, will move. Will move. 
Ok, en Spanish C. Ellos se mudarán a otra a otro país si no consiguen un trabajo aquí. Ok, thank you very much. Milena, my sister hates cars. She how to drive when she is acting. Um, we will not learn. Will not learn. In, in, in Spanish we say Eh, mi, mi hermana odia los carros, no. Eh, eh, ella no aprende a conducir a los 18 años. Ella no aprenderá cómo conducir cuando tenga 18. Ok, ok. She's Uh, Marta, please. I think they married in less than two hours. Two years, sorry. Two years. I think, I they, think they will get married in less than two years. Okay. And Ruby, please. Um, you, you will. You will me a glass of water, please. No. Uh, you? Oh. You is not correct because it's question. In the question, the first is, the first go will. Are you, are, please? Will, will you? Me a glass of water. Do you remember the structure to form the, the, the interrogative sentence with the will? Will you bring me a glass of water, please? In, in traduction is? Me traerás un vaso de agua, por favor. Okay. Will you bring me a glass of water, please? Okay, okay. That's what it is. And now we are going to complete this sentence with the auxiliary verb going to. In the before slide is will, in that before is with going to. And uh, we use the main verb is visit. We say she is. Um, Ruby, she is. going to he is going to visit New York next day in Spanish y <coughs> ella visitará Nueva York la, la siguiente semana uh -huh. yes uh, then Denise please do you have plans for the weekend uh, sorry do you have plans for the weekend yes I I Going to watch that movie. Uh, sorry, I. I going to watch that movie. I going to watch. In that case, please remember the structure to form the 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 affirmative sentence with the going to. In all case, we use the <clears throat> the verb to be depend of the of the pronouns or depend of the subject. Uh, we use an, for example, in that case, is because it's she. In that case, is I am going to watch the movie. Uh, in Spanish, please, do you have plans for the weekend? Yes, I am going to watch uh, that movie. In Spanish, please. Tienes planes para el fin de semana? Sí. Iré a ver. Iré a ver una película. No al cine. Iré a Sí, voy a ver una película, voy al cine. Voy a, al cine. Ok, thank you. Este, Marta, please. Marta. Tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow I am going to learn how to cook paella. 
Ok. Mañana, ¿Cómo aprende, Ryan? Mañana, ¿Cómo? mañana voy a aprender cómo cocinar o cómo preparar. Sí, cómo cocinar paella. Cómo cocinar paella, ok. Please, Milena. Albert is good at math. He statistics degree. He, he going to study. He, he please going. remember the structure we use the verb to be depend of the pronoun, depend of the subject. In that case, he He going we to? use uh, we use is because he is a person, okay. For example, in the structure we say sorry, sorry, sorry. This is going to no, okay. Aquí. We use auxiliary verb to be. The uh, we subject auxiliary verb to be going to a main verb, okay. In all case, we use the verb to be. Yes. Okay. Um, sorry, the, the other slide. Okay. Albert is good at math. He is. Mm -hmm. He is going going to study. This is degree. In Spanish, say. Albert is bueno in mathematica. He is. He is studia. He is going to study. Estadística. Licenciatura en estadística. He va a estudiar o él estudiará licenciatura en estadística. Okay. And uh, um, Ruby. John and her brother. Around the world, the call next year. John and her brother are travel. Are going to travel. Okay. John and her brother are going to travel around the world the whole next year. Mm -hmm. In Spanish, say, John. John y su hermano viajarán mm -hmm. por todo el mundo el siguiente año. Okay. Todo el año. Viajarán por el mundo todo el año. Okay, and finally, Marta, with the last sentence. You can see? I can't, I can't see teacher. I, I see until John and her brother. Okay. Uh, in that case, please, Denise, help you with the last, uh, with the last sentence. What? What are you going? What does it mean wear? What are you going to wear today? In Spanish, we say. Mm, I don't know. Mm. What are you going the to board. wear? Wear is usar. ¿Qué usarás hoy? Ajá, uh -huh. ¿qué van a usar hoy? ¿O qué vas a usar hoy? What are you going to wear today? Is is a question. Oh, what are you going to wear today? Um, what we can see in that sentence. ¿Qué podemos ver en estas oraciones? What do we can see in that sentence? For example, uh, we um, we use in all sentences the verb to be. Okay, an, an, or is, is, or 
are, okay? Generally, we use verb to be. The other thing is the verb is already, is never in infinitive. Siempre va en infinitivo el verbo estar, sea o no sea tercera persona o como esté se conjugado en el futuro, el verbo in infinitive, okay? Study, learn, watch, visit, wear, travel, okay? No change, no change the Y for I and the ES, no. Okay, this is the, the characters in the future tense. Okay, uh, this is a exercise very interesting. Sorry, one moment. Sorry, sorry, one moment. Please um, pay attention to the reading I am going to, to do, okay? This is the question when is the word is about a reading that I am going to, to read, okay? You understand? Pongan atención a la lectura que yo voy a hacer, que las preguntas son en base a esta, ¿ok? Please. Um, my birthday is next week and I have a lot of plans to celebrate it. I am going to visit my father who lives in Italy. We are going to rent a car to travel around Europe. In Spain, we are going to try Spanish typical food. People say it is delicious. In France, we are going to meet Charles, my best friend. He is a movie director, uh, so I am going to meet some famous actors. Okay? Pay attention, I am going to repeat the reading. My birthday is, is next week, and I have a lot of plans to celebrate it. I am going to visit my father who lives in Italy. We are going to rent a car to travel around Europe. In Spain, we are going to try Spanish typical food. People say it is delicious. In France, we are going to meet Charles, my best friend. He is a movie director. So I am going to meet some famous actors. Okay, the first question is, when is her birthday? Today, tomorrow, or next week? Next week, next week. Next week, okay. Next week. Next week. The other question, who is she going to visit? Who is she going to visit? She's, she's going, going, going to visit going her, father, her father, or she's going to visit her sister? Her okay. father. She's going to her father. The other question. What are they going to do with the car? What are they going to do with the car? They are going, they to, are going around, to travel around, 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 Italy. around Europe. Europe. Okay. It's correct. Uh, what are they going to do in France? They are going to meet a friend or they are going to have lunch with famous actors. They are going what to... are they going to do in France? They are going to meet a friend or they are going to have lunch with famous actors. Um, they are going to, to have lunch with famous actors. Yes. Marta de Nid Rubí is correct. To meet a friend. To meet a friend. I, they are I, going to meet a friend. What is the correct? Some outer. To have lunch. Um, what are they going to do in France? 
they are going they are to be boyfriend have or they are going to have lunch. Sorry, meet a friend. Okay, yes, it's correct. They are going to meet a friend. In the reading, say, in France, we are going to meet Charles, my best friends. Okay, they are going to meet a friend. Va a encontrarse con un amigo, con Charles. Okay, uh, the, the last question. What are they going to do in Spain? They are going to try typical food, typical drinks, or they are going to eat the typical food. Y se Typical food. Typical food. Typical food. Yes. It's for they are going to eat a to eat typical food. Okay, this is a correct. Okay. This is other reading. This is a little more difficult, okay? Yeah, for that reason, please pay attention at the reading. Mm. A brand new art gallery is scheduled for a grand opening next week in the downtown district. The gallery is owned by the Pierre Brothers, owners of many similar galleries around the country. When asked to comment on the opening, the brothers say, we are excited to bring a test of culture and refinement to the city. We know that there will be a high demand for our, for our beautiful place, and we can't wait to open. The gallery will feature uh, many different forms of art ranging from sculpture to paintings and will feature a piece, uh, piece by local art. Okay? I am going to repeat a little slow. Okay? Please pay attention. A brand new art gallery is scheduled for a grand opening next week in the downtown district. The gallery is owned by the Pierre Brothers, owners of many similar galleries around the country. When asked to comment on the opening, the brothers say, we are excited to bring a test of cultures and refinement to the city. We know that there will be a high demand for our beautiful piece, and we can't wait to open. The gallery will feature many different forms of art ranging from a sculpture to paintings and will feature, pe uh, feature piece by local artists. First question, when is the opening of the new art gallery? Next week. Next week. Next week. Yes, next week. ¿Cuándo será la apertura de la nueva galería? ¿Cuándo se abrirá la nueva galería? Next week la próxima semana okay who are the owners of the gallery the pierre family the pierre cousins or the pierre brothers pierre brothers the pierre, pierre brothers pierre brothers okay the pierre brothers think the gallery will bring a taste of culture and art refinement and culture and art and modernity Refinement and, culture. refinement and culture. Sure, refinement and culture? Yes. Okay, yes, it's correct. Refinement and culture. What will the gallery features? Features. Features is eh, rasgos, como característica. What will the gallery features? It will feature different forms of art. It will feature only sculpture and paintings, or it will feature a lot of international paintings. It will feature different forms of art. The first, it will feature different forms of art. The first option, la primera opción. For me, yes. yes. Um, Marta, Denise, uh, Ruby, Milena, you are agree? 
For me, it is the first. No. No? For me, it's sculpture and painting. Sculptures and painting? Yes. No. <laughs> okay. No, yeah, the first is the correct. I will feature different forms of art. Uh, because in the second option, this uh, say only a sculpture and paint, and no, mm, there is not only a sculpture and paint. Okay, aquí eh, no es correcta porque dice solo eh, esculturas y pintura. Ya, yeah. por eso no es correcta. Okay, for that reason it's not correct because say only, only a sculpture and painting in the gallery, not only. Only have, a, will have a sculpture and painting. No solamente tendrá esculturas y pintura. And the last uh, question is, will the gallery features piece of art by local artists? Yes, it will or no, it won't. Will the gallery features piece of, of art by local artists? Why is it correct? Yes or Yes, yes, it will. Yes, it will. Okay, it's correct. Yes, yes, it will. Because the question said, uh, uh, will the gallery feature piece of art by local artists? Tendrá la galería eh, piezas de arte de artistas locales? Yes, it will. Sí, la tendrá. That say in the in the reading yes it will. Now, uh, we are going to build and say four sentences in the future using the auxiliary verb will and the same for four sentences using the auxiliary verb going to. Okay. Okay, student, you are going to build four sentences in the future using auxiliary verb will and for a sentence using auxiliary, uh, auxiliary verb going to. Okay, you understand? Yes, teacher. Eight sentences, for e with will and for with going to. Remember, will we use and the going to uh, probability or promise. Okay, do you remember the structure? The subject, uh, auxiliary verb, main verb, okay. In the interrogative, first go the will, the subject, okay. Please remember the the old topics, okay. You have a four minutes that eight sentence. For we use uh, verb will, in four we use going to. Five minutes.
Okay, students. Already? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, Marta, uh, please uh, begin with your participation, with your four sentence. Uh, we use the, the auxiliary verb will. Okay. I will go to the coast in December. Will you be a good professional? She won't sing at this concert. We will dance at your party next week. This is for Will. Okay. And for going to, uh, you are going to walk with me this afternoon. Mm -hmm. I am going to take my pet to the park. He will not travel tomorrow. And are they going to watch a movie? No more teacher. Okay, Marta, thank you. Um, Milena, please. We will play in the park next week. Uh, I will speak several foreign languages. Uh -huh. Hablaré varios idiomas, ajá. Uh -huh. uh, she, she will walk to school. Uh, we, we will do we will go go to the movies next weekend mm -hmm. and i am going to get i am going to get out early tomorrow okay. is, uh -huh. is it going to rain today today i am going to sleep all day my brother is going to visit up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Milena, thank you. Um, Marta, ready? Milena, eh, Ruby, ah, Ruby, eh, she has a problem with your connection, eh, connection because in your city is very, very, very important. Ruby. Uh, Denise, please. I will to visit on weekend. To visit mm -hmm. you. Te visitaré, creo que ahí faltará you, ¿cierto? I will to visit you on weekend. She will not make the dinner. They will not wear the t-shirt. Will you arrive early? I am going to study for the test. She's going to travel the next week. My parents are not going to call me. My son isn't going to play soccer because he didn't do homework. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, this is a part of production in, in that class. And finally, for the final part of the class, a uh, one each other using what you have learned in, in this class about the structure, about the use of, of will, about the use of going to um, discuss or, or tell us, maybe tell us uh, with your classmates what you will be going doing on the weekend ok cuéntele a sus compañeras o háblele a sus compañeras de lo que usted hará el fin de semana 
please uh, remember uh, include sentence with voluntary action, if that to say with will, promise, with uh, use, will, plans, or prediction. In that case, we use going to. Okay. Okay. Do you understand the 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 exercise? For example, uh, we said um, I am going to watch uh, the TV show during the weekend, all the weekend. Okay. Um, I am going to see my doctor tomorrow morning. Okay, this is a, a plans or or voluntary actions. Or oh, um, I will promise. Uh, I will take care of you. This is promise. I will promise. I. I will take care of you. Te prometo que te cuidaré. Okay. Um, or oh, in that case, we say in predictions, no? Uh, I think, um, I think it is going to rain this afternoon. Or I think it will rain this, uh, this afternoon. Yo creo que lloverá esta tarde. Yeah, this is predictions. Okay, so please, um, using the, the topic, using the learning class, uh, tell us about the, you will be doing on the weekend. Okay? Uh, okay, you have a two or three minutes for that. No more because it's very, very short no more long okay why do you do or what will be doing on the weekend okay three minutes for that exercise it's very short
Okay, students, all ready? Milena, Marta, Denise? Yes, teacher. Okay, please. Marta, tell us ab uh, about uh, what do you do during the weekend using where uh, using wheel and going to okay teacher uh, i will study a lot this weekend mm -hmm. and uh, for you teacher <laughs> i will give you a gift for your birthday <laughs> no sé cuándo es su cumpleaños uh, a promise Promise, promesa. Okay, promise. Uh, this Sunday I will go out to eat with my daughter. Mm -hmm. Saldrá con su hija, okay. Uh, yes, I think it will be very cold this weekend. Mm, this is a prediction about the weather. It's very cold. Yes, very cold this weekend because weekend because uh, it will rain. Okay. It will rain. Okay, thank you, Marta. Thank you very much. Um, Denise, please. I am going to travel to Orito. My son is there. On weekend, I going I going to do my homework with my son. I think we do every my activities. I will be my aunt Claudia, my son, and my three cousins. The aunt's home is very big and useful. Useful? Muy útil? Uh -huh. No. Be, peace. Tranquila. Calma. Es muy relajante. Or, or quiet, I general use quiet, uh, tranquilo, calmado, quiet. Okay. Quiet, se escribe. Okay, bye. Okay, thank you. And finally, Milena, please, your participation about uh, what do you do during the weekend? Milena. I am, I am going to make pizza for dinner. Mm -hmm. I am going out to dinner with some, some friends on Saturday. Salir a comer con algunos amigos el sábado es plan. Yes. Okay. How about the promise? Mm. Ya. Yeah. Alright. Okay. How about the predictions? Mm. No. No more sentence? Yes. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, only two sentences. Perfect, no problem. Okay, students, this is all for today class. This is all for today. Um, it's a pleasure for me. I want uh, you practice very much because uh, you have uh, a little mistakes all uh, ruby denise marta uh, milena all in that class to like uh, linda and lu but no problem uh, please practice practice structure uh, practice uh, remember the structure we be going to we use the verb to be uh, practice the structure with sentence uh, with auxiliary verb will and uh, uh, I am going to share the the PowerPoint presentation in the chat because I want to to read 
the interview about the candidate. Do you remember? Because I think a um, because I think a little difficult, and the, the interview it has a a new vocabulary. Okay, new vocabulary for for us. And for that reason, I am going to share the PowerPoint presentation in the chat because you have a, a, because you can a, the the learn new vocabulary to repeat a, to see the pronunciation to look for a, the traductions. Okay, we say a, a little more quiet. Okay. Do you understand? If uh, this is for this is all for today. Okay. Uh, in the next class, please uh, review material about the WH question. What is the WH question? What is? Uh, what? Who? When? When? Where? When? Where? where how? Why? Uh, this is a. Uh, <clears throat> the WH question. In the next class, we are going to talk about this and the, the structure to do the the question uh, where the, the ask a information and the traduction, we are going to practice a structure to practice the, the answers, okay? Okay, students, thank you very much. Uh, you have a very happy night. Uh, I see you later. I see you in the next class. Is the Tuesday? Tuesday is 13. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Thank you.